everyone welcome back to my channel so um, today's video is going to be about a topic that is very controversial but it's actually very important especially for women um we're gonna be talking about pro-life or pro-choice i am gonna be just straight up and say it i am definitely pro-choice i feel like a woman should have um a choice whether she wants to have an abortion or not um, I feel like that's her body it's up to her I myself um, for myself I'm pro-life unless I have been raped or I am homeless I am pro-life but for other people I am pro-choice and I feel like everyone should have a choice. It's a woman's body so it's up to them and I feel like all these old white men should not have a say in what goes on in a woman's body. Um, so I do have like screenshots that I've taken that from stuff that I've seen online like certain laws on rape and abortion, um, certain statistics certain quotes from people i did ask people to send me their point of views through instagram but honestly i i didn't know that i had some dumbass followers so i deleted the post because i didn't want to argue with anybody and i wasn't trying to ruin my day that day by reading stupid ass things um keep in mind majority of these were by guys and i'm just like bye you don't have no say in this um I just feel like if a woman was raped, she should be able to have an abortion if she chooses to. If a woman um, got pregnant through incest, she should be able to have an abortion, especially that seriously, like, I don't know if you guys know, but if you have a child through incest, your child can be born, um, what's it called? Like with genetic disorders because the chromosomes it's like too many of the same chromosomes and stuff like that and now children with genetic disorders are completely fine there is nothing wrong with them i used to hate when kids in school like would make fun of kids like that were in the special ed class and they had genetic disorders like it's not funny it's not their fault um not all of them not all kids with genetic disorders are born because it was incest that's just how they were born and there's nothing wrong with that but i feel like if you're having a baby from incest that is selfish because your child is going to be the one to suffer and i feel like taking the option for a woman to have an abortion is dumb because you're not going to be paying that child's medical bills you're not going to be going through the stress the parents are and the child is not you so it's like you shouldn't have no right to take that from somebody um and i feel like little girls that get raped and end up pregnant they should definitely be able to have abortions because their bodies are not even mature enough to carry a child have a child and none of that um i did a lot of research one night i was up to like five in the morning i could not sleep so i was like i'm just gonna get on the computer and do some research for this video um okay like what i just mentioned little girls their bodies are not mature enough at all um even when i had my son my body was like barely mature mature enough to have a child um you can get pregnant as soon as menstruation starts so say a little girl got her period at nine she can get pregnant after having sex or being raped because she's had her period um let's see i had read somewhere online that says a woman's that's the wind no that's cars <laughs> i read somewhere online that the woman's body isn't mature enough to carry a child until her 20s so, any from the time that you get your period to whatever age you get pregnant, your body is scientifically not mature enough to carry a child and give birth until your 20s. Um, 
it's it just there's more dangers to it especially like ages 10 to 14 it's very very dangerous um because you're a little girl your body's not mature enough and it hasn't gone through the changes needed to go through and little girls being forced to carry ch children from rape now um like these little girls can die from that and it seems like these men don't care so are you pro-life or not because if you're so pro-life you wouldn't be putting a little girl through that period at all like i don't i don't understand so let's see um there's some other points because i see a lot of people like there's always adoption blah 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 now adoption is completely okay there's nothing wrong with that if you have a child and you choose to give your child up for adoption that's fine no judgment here again it's up to you your choice but i feel like if you do choose that you should go through an adoption agency rather than handing your child over um, to the state or to like the hospital just because they go into the foster care system and through an agency they have parents that are ready to adopt and um they're ready to adopt and how do i say this like they have background checks like they take this very seriously those adoption agencies majority of them um some of them maybe not but majority of them they take it very seriously and you can have an open adoption so say you still want to have a relationship with your child you're able to do that um so i just think like it's better to do that way than to just hand your child over to the state um only because i did research on that too and it says um now these are specific numbers like i really went on google and searched up the most reliable source and it says there are roughly four hundred thousand children in the u.s foster care system right now Thirty thousand of those children age out every year so they have been there for to the 18 once you're 18 you opt out and you are no longer in the foster care system um so you're like unless the foster care system that you were in the foster care home your group home whatever was a good place then like you have family and the people there the workers there those are your family but if you don't have that kind of experience, you don't have any family to opt out to. And that's sad. And it's sad that these kids are even there for that long. It's sad that there's that many kids there. So all these people that are like, oh, there's always adoption. Unless you are adopting kids from the foster care system, don't say anything. Because these children go through so much. Some of them don't eat. Some of them get abused. Some of them get raped. And like the foster care system let's just be honest it's not a good place like a lot of people just foster children for the money because those when you foster a child you get a check from the state and that money is supposed to go towards the children towards the food towards the clothes and these parents um will keep that money like for themselves and it's sad and disgusting what happens to the children in the foster care system so it's like why do you want to add to that I don't, I just don't understand. I don't know. Um, now let's see. They were saying in one of the states, I forgot which one it was, but for even if you were raped, you're not allowed to have an abortion anymore. It's not put into place immediately, but it's gonna get put into place soon. And so you're not allowed to have an abortion anymore if you were raped. And that's, that's honestly sad, like, and especially because i had seen somewhere like this 12 year old girl got raped and um like this was on the news like all over the news um i had just seen it like on i think on facebook she this 12 year old girl she got raped by this older man like he was a grown-ass man and he got joint custody of her child what this is her rapist she doesn't want to She's probably already traumatized and gone through so much. She's 12 and you are going to force her to have to see this man. And like she has to deal with this man forever now because 
the, the, uh, it's just disgusting. Disgusting, I feel like. Um, pregnancy from rape. 32,107 adult women. That's just a number. That's not how many women a year get raped or anything like that. That's just a number that they come up with. Out of those women, only 11.7 received medical attention. Only 32.4% didn't find out that they were pregnant until the second semester. So even if they wanted to have an abortion, in most states, you can't anymore. Because that's the thing that people don't understand. I keep seeing these like... 36 week babies in valleys like oh i can walk into an abortion clinic right now and have an abortion no you can't where not in the united states you can't nowhere in the united states not even california colorado nowhere are you allowed to have an abortion that late at the second semester you are like on thin ice about not being able to have an abortion that's what people don't understand it is is not a baby it's not a child um, I don't know where these people are getting this from. Doesn't even have a brain. If I was on life support right now, they can literally pull the plug on me because I'm brain dead, but my heart is still beating. So, how's that pro life? Somebody can, like, my brain is not active. It's like I don't have a brain. I'm brain dead, but my heart is still beating. But you can plug the pull on me. But you can pull the plug on me, like. That's not pro-life. I'm not understanding how you guys have... You guys have different standards for different things. And it's like, how are you pro-life when you're allowing a little girl to give birth? She can die from... She can die from just carrying the child alone. Um, you can pull the plug on people because they're brain dead. You guys are not caring about these 400,000 children that are in the foster care system that... Um, majority of them get abused they don't get fed they get raped how's that pro-life um but anyway so out of that number of women and these are just adult women this doesn't include children so 11.7 percent didn't receive medical attention wait no 11.7 percent received medical attention the rest did not so sorry if i messed up earlier 32 0.4% of that number didn't find out until the second trimester. So they're on thin ice. I'm pretty sure most of them, they cannot have an abortion anymore because there's certain weeks in different states. Once you hit a certain week, you can no longer get an abortion. It is against the law. No doctor will do it. I don't know about in other states. I mean, in other countries or in states what the exact week is, but there's just no way. Nowhere in the United States can you do so. Let's see. And there was another thing. It says out of 1,000 rapes, only 230 of those rapes are reported. 46 reports lead to rapes. I mean, lead to arrests. And only 4.6 rapists will be in jail. Out of 1,000. That is ridiculous. It's like y'all don't care for these women that are getting raped and... It's really fucking sad and disgusting that men can do this to children, to children and even adult women. Like, it's just disgusting. If somebody told you no, it's no. If you don't even know that person and you're trying to have, like, sexual encounters with them, and especially with their little kids, like, that is just disgusting. I, I don't understand it. And people are always saying, like, um, oh, only 1% of... A rapes lead to pregnancy that's a lie because majority of them are not even reported because they are scared that nobody's going to believe them they are scared that nothing's going to happen to their rapist so their rapist will be able and eligible to have um, custody of their child they are they feel ashamed which they shouldn't they feel dirty they it's just a lot of them don't get reported so i don't know where some of you um pro-life people got that number from because how do you know if majority of rapes don't get reported? And then also, like, all these pro-life people are so pro-life, but they don't care about the children that are in poverty. These children don't get to eat some days. These children don't have water, drinks, proper clothing. They probably live, like, 
in a little studio with five other siblings or something like that and this it's just sad so how are you pro-life if you're not helping these children that were born into poverty i understand that it's the parents um responsibility to feed them clothe them and all that but it's not the child's fault like you guys are saying you shouldn't abort because it's not the child's fault well it's not the child's fault that it was born into poverty and their parents are doing the most i promise y'all the people that live in poverty 98 percent of those parents bust their ass to do everything and anything to be able to provide for their kids so but you're still not helping those kids that are in poverty um so let's see 12.8 million are born into poverty every single year in the u.s 45 percent of that number have lived or live in extreme poverty so it's not just poverty it's extreme poverty like the bottom of the bottom these kids are suffering probably and you are so pro-life but you're not helping those kids and you guys keep saying like oh if you didn't want to have a child close your legs blah 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 it's not just the woman's job to protect herself a woman has to go through periods birth control birth all this other stuff why is none of this being put on men Men can get a vasectomy and get that shit reversed. Women had to go on birth control that causes depression, causes anxiety, causes weight gain. Some of them cause um, your bones to thin. It shouldn't always be up to the woman to like protect yourself from having a child. Men can do it too. Men can have a vasectomy, get it reversed, and they'd be fine. They can have children again. Like... Why do women have to be the ones to take all this stuff to not have kids? And I seen something that said like, you guys just keep having sex, not thinking that you're gonna get pregnant, you're just doing it for pleasure. People are allowed to have sex for pleasure. People shouldn't be scared like, oh, I'm gonna get pregnant, I shouldn't have sex. They are allowed to have sex for pleasure and it's not just up to the woman to decide to be on birth control. A man can wear a condom, man can get vasectomies. Without a man's sperm, an egg cannot be fertilized. So, next, let's see. Of all rape victims under the age of 18, two out of three of them are between the ages 12 and 17. 34% of them are under 12, 66% are between the ages 12 to, 7, 12 to 17, so I'm assuming from that it's like 12 and old, like 12 and a half and older to 17. And it's just disgusting. These kids in these states, if they get pregnant by this rape, they will not be able to abort anymore. And it's just sad and nasty. You can't take a woman's right. In our human's right, um thing it says that it is against women's human rights to be forced to carry a pregnancy so i'm not too sure how these people are getting away with that because you guys are going against our constitution these are natural human rights that a woman is supposed to have and it is being taken from them in those in those states and it's just sad and disgusting to me so let's see between the ages 16 through 19 those women are four times more likely to be raped than the other um, age population. Why? Sick, it's disgusting. Every 92 seconds, someone is getting sexually assaulted. Every nine minutes, that victim is a child. Again, these little girls keep getting raped. A lot of them get pregnant and you guys are stopping them from being able to have abortions and it's disgusting. And it's sad because a little girl should not have to go through that at all. If I had a child, I have a child. If I had a daughter and she was between the ages 12 to 17 and she told me that she was raped, um, we're, going, we're going to have an abortion. I'm not going to make a 12-year-old girl carry a child that can put her body and herself into danger. It's just, it's not happening. I don't care if I live in Alabama, Ohio. We is taking a flight or a drive 
out to California and we have an abortion, honey. I don't give a fuck. You men are crazy and you men are disgusting. Let's see what else is there. It says incest is proven to be um, harmful to the child and it creates birth defects. We've already talked about that. Um, there's nothing wrong with children that are born with dirt. There's nothing wrong with children that are born with birth defects. When you're pregnant, you actually can have a test done um, to see if your child will be born with a birth defect. They put a needle in like your belly, but it can cause a miscarriage. Um, now there's nothing wrong with kids like that, but if it comes from incest, I think there's something wrong. I feel like if you are a woman and you carried a child that came from incest and you know that, I feel like you are selfish because your child is gonna suffer so much your child is going to be poked around all over the place every time they go to the doctor, anytime they're at the hospital. And I just, I just think it's hella selfish. Like, again, like I said, there's nothing wrong with it if it didn't come from incest. If it came from incest, I feel like you are a disgusting human being and that is sad that you will put your child through that. And I feel like it is sad that these men think that it's okay to make the parents of those children and these children suffer. Again, you're not going to be paying their medical bills. You're not going to be the one stressed, depressed. None of that. They are going to be. And it's, it's just sad and nasty. Um, so now I am going to get the computer and I'm going to show you guys. I'm not going to show you. I'm going to read to you guys those quotes and stuff that I've seen online. Um, I also wanted to point out, um, Paul had shown me this video today of Charlemagne. Um, Charlemagne, 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 whatever. Um, where he's talking about he's talking about the abortion bans and he was talking about like he's thinking like why do these old white men care like why now and um, he made a point that these states are Republican states um, and he did some Google searching just like I did and it came out that by the year 2045 white people will be the minority and Hispanics and Latinos um, will be like the main population and he said so like these states that are creating these ban abortions and stuff like that they are republican states so majority of their population is white and they're all republicans so what he is saying is like they are so scared and they do not want to become the minority so what they have done is stop these um, abortions so that those white people can no longer have abortions and white people like he's trying to stop that he's trying to stop from white people they're trying to stop white people from, bec from becoming a minority um, and then Trump today signed a new law that makes like it makes um, immigration even stricter than before so that's what he was saying. I don't remember exactly what he said. So I'll try to find the video and link it down below. It, he was like doing a breakfast club thing. I'm just trying to find these. Let's see. Okay, here we go. Here we go. They're coming up. Sorry, y'all. They're loading. Okay. here's one from twitter and this woman said if a fetus is a person at six weeks pregnant is that when the child support starts is that also when you can't deport the mother because she's carrying a u.s citizen can i insure a six weeks fetus and collect if i miscarry just figuring if we're going here we should go all in because that's what they're saying that six weeks the fetus is a child it's not a child that's so dumb and stupid i don't know where the fuck these people got this from Talk to some doctors, for real. Talk to some doctors because that's not true. Um, so when you have a child and you're not with the other parent, you can get child support. So she's saying, can I get child support? Like, me and my mans broke up. Can I get child support? Because we're not together and this is a child. Um, and they won't allow you to get child support until the child is physically born. Until the child is physically born, you cannot claim them on your taxes. Until a child is physically born, you cannot insure them. 
until a child is physically born, they can still deport mothers that are not U.S. citizens. So she's saying, can we not do all that then? Because you guys are saying at six weeks, it's child. So I should be able to get child support. I should be able to stay in the United States if I'm an immigrant. Um, I should be able to insure my six-week child and collect my money if I miscarry. And it, it's, it's pretty smart. It's, she makes sense because if y'all saying that a child is a six-week fetus, she, she should be able, all women should be able to do that. If you're an immigrant, you should be able to stay here. Because if you didn't know, if you're an immigrant, if you have children here, you are by law allowed to stay if they are the underage teen. Under the age 18, just because they needed their mother, obviously, and they're a U.S. citizen. Let's see. Now, a lot of people can't afford to have children, so they resort to having an abortion. And people are like, well, that's your fault. You shouldn't have sex, blah, 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 blah. You're not going to be providing for the child. You're not going to be stressing. You're not going to be having your child in daycare with different babysitters while the parent busts their ass working trying to provide for them um even before the child is born it is hella fucking expensive okay let's see i googled this how much does it cost to deliver a baby the cost of having a baby isn't cheap in the united states at least the average cost to have a baby in the u.s without complications during delivery is um ten thousand dollars eight hundred $10,808, which can increase to $30,000 when factoring in care provided before and after pregnancy. Are you going to give that woman $30,000 to have a baby? I don't think so. So, fuck off. Is she going to have an abortion if she wants to? Let's see. Now, this blew my mind. I was in disbelief. This shit was just crazy. Getting away with rape. North Carolina sex assault laws under security. So they're trying to change um, the consent law. Once sex act has begun, you cannot withdraw consent. State lawmakers considering bill that would change criteria for consent. This is in North Carolina. That is stupid and ridiculous. You can't change consent consent means either the person said yes or no you can't change the meaning of that who the fuck you think you are dictionary.com no what if somebody doesn't want to have sex they don't have to have sex no more don't matter with but she was on top of him he was on top of her if she said no i don't want to no more if he said no i don't want to no more they they can stop okay and if they don't stop that's rape i don't care what nobody say that's rape but you cannot change the meaning of consent. Are you dumb? All right, this one right here is what I was talking about earlier. Why are men not being held responsible? Why is it always only on the women? One man can impregnate over 360 women in one year while a woman can only get pregnant once a year. Should there be more focus on milk? Con ugh. should it be more focused on male rather than women the male birth control didn't make it because men a lot of men i'm not gonna say men because i want nobody to get offended a lot of men are pussies and they couldn't take the birth control that was given to them period so they made women take all this crazy birth control that fucking makes them emotional gain weight get their bones thinned out it's their periods are crazy sometimes so anyway um this is the day after the previous clips that you guys just watched and that is due to my phone running out of storage so i had to go through all my videos and make sure that any videos on my phone that were already on the computer were gone and all that stuff i had left off talking about um women birth control and men birth control now, there is a man birth control. Um, it just... I don't know how to say what I'm trying to say to y'all. But, I'm going to go ahead and continue off on reading off the quotes that I had found online. 
it's just honestly it's just so sad like they're trying to make as it is already rapists don't get much punishment for their actions and for what they do so that's why i feel like men just rape people so freely because of that and they're trying to make it even less punishable so it's really crazy to me that they said a doctor who performs an abortion in these states that have already passed the abortion ban law can get um, up to 99 years in in prison for performing an abortion a lot of rapists get away with three months probation three months probation keep in mind there is people in jail for traffic tickets marijuana um petty theft that are doing more time than that they'll do like one to five years whatever three on good behavior so for rapists to get away with rape and just do like three months probation six months in jail no probation like that is just disgusting and it just really blows my mind like how have we come to this how have we come to taking women's natural rights because if you guys didn't know it is a woman's natural right to um not be forced to carry a pregnancy that is one of our human rights so how is that now being taken away from the women that live in these states? How is it that rapists can get away with rape so freely? And it's just, it's so disgusting. And I'm just, I'm just um, in disbelief of it all, really. Like, it's like we're going backwards here in the United States. And it's really crazy because the United States is one of the countries with like the richest and the advanced technology. We're like one of the top states and not top states, one of the top countries. So for us to just continuously keep going backwards, it is crazy and so weird to me. Um, but you know, a lot of factors do play in to um, like to the video that I had mentioned with Charlemagne, like a lot of that does play into it because it's like true, you know? Um, the people, the races and ethnicities and all that that are minorities now, we are advancing and um, white people, not in a few years, it's still a very long time, 2045 is still a very long time from now. Um, but by that year, it is said, like, white people will be the minority. The top people right now are whites, obviously. By that year, the top people will be Latinos and Hispanics. I'm not sure what order it goes in, but I know that he mentioned by that year, the top will be Latinos and Hispanics, and the minorities will be white. So I guess, like, I don't know if that's how these old white men are thinking about it. Um, obviously, I don't know any of them, so I'm not sure if like that's a, a straight fact. But what he said in the video really does make sense, so I'm going to link it down below for any of you that are interested in um, reading it and stuff. Um, not reading it, watching it. It's on The Breakfast Club, so if you watch The Breakfast Club, um, you'll see it. It was kind of all over Twitter that's where paul found it and that's um what he showed me and it's just it's just so it's so crazy and it is so disgusting and what disgusts me the most is when women are backing this you are a woman i want to know if you are a woman and you are backing this have you ever had an abortion have you ever been in a situation where you felt like you needed an abortion? Have you ever been raped? Have you ever been sexually harassed, sex sexually assaulted? Have you ever struggled in life? Like, do you have children and are you struggling? Like, I just want to know because I know 
And I'm not going to say no names. I'm not going to say, I'm not going to put people on blast. That's just not me. I used to do that back in junior high. I'm a grown ass woman now. I'm not going to put nobody on blast. I'm not going to mention no names. Nothing. I'm not even going to give hints. But I know quite a group of girls that have been on Facebook and Twitter backing this shit and saying like, oh, you guys forget you can get pregnant when you have sex. You guys just do it for enjoyment. People are allowed to do that. The girls just have sex and they open their legs too much. They shouldn't be opening their legs if they're not ready for a baby. Blah, 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 blah. Get on birth control. Do this, do that. You shouldn't have an abortion. There's always adoption. And a group of these girls that be backing that, I'm not even going to lie. All the girls that I've seen that be backing that have had abortions, have thought about having abortions. And it's sad. I know a few of them that have been sexually harassed. I don't know if they've been raped, but I know they've been sexually harassed. So for me to see those girls like backing that, I'm like, girl, you've had an abortion before you thought you were pregnant and was talking about having an abortion before you have been sexually harassed what if you were raped that time and you got pregnant what would you have done then like it is so disgusting to me when women back this it's so it's because like i keep saying this is our human right it is our natural human right that women should not be forced to carry a pregnancy sorry about that lightning holy shit and so for that to be taken from women is fucking crazy and I just it really blows my mind and it really disappoints me and it's it's just so sad and disgusting and honestly if you can have a smart conversation about this um you can message me you can email me and we can discuss this as grown people what I didn't like about my post on Instagram um when I had told people like send me your point of views is that the people that sent their point of views um, majority of them it was guys and they was talking nonsense don't talk nonsense on stuff you don't have facts on because it's just dumb don't don't try to have a smart conversation with me and you have nothing back in your facts because like I already knew all of this that I said I just didn't know exact numbers so that's why I went on Google and I got my exact numbers because I'm not about to come on YouTube and um, tell you guys my beliefs and what I think and not have correct facts. I just think it's, it's weird to do that. Um, I'm not just going to be guessing, saying random stuff. I think it's like topics like this, politics, um, which is a shame that I have to say that. Politics, I feel like when you're having a conversation about that, you need to have facts um and it's really weird that i'm even saying that like a woman's body should not be up for politics it's my body my choice i get to do whatever the hell i want with it um and it's just i don't know it's really saddening and um in mississippi i'm reading this right now um, somebody had posted on Instagram and it says, Yes, the anti-abortion movement is primarily about controlling women's bodies under the um, premise for any sincere of saving lives. And yes, this is a law. This law is primarily the work of white men. However, a white woman sponsored the bill and a white woman signed it into law. As we're resisting, let us all call out the complicity of the white women who made this awful moment possible and which, make no mistake, will lead the unnecessary and avoidable deaths of women and this proportionate number of whom will be poor and or black. Speak up, show up, don't give up. Donate to Planned Parenthood, um, Yellow Fund, other stuff. Like, that is so, it's so mind-blowing. And I'm just, um, those are all the facts I have for right now. Um, I do research on this a lot actually like when I'm bored I just look stuff up but so that's pretty much it um, I'm not by any means trying to change your point of view or your beliefs so if you felt like I tried to do so I'm not sorry I was just stating facts um, like I really researched all of this and 
yeah that's really basically it if you enjoyed the video be sure to like it comment your point of view email me message me whatever your point of view is if you are ready to have a smart conversation about it um don't forget to hit the subscribe button and that's it um thank you guys for watching i know this video was pretty long and i really appreciate you guys thanks bye bye